Marty, you're the oldest of the sons. What, what's your earliest memory of your dad? <laughs> I, I don't know if I can tell that one. <laughs> <laughs> he was married to my mama, and it wasn't the best of relationships. Um, you know what, brother? Um, there's too many. Um, it's like, a, it's like a, a movie running full, you know, too fast to watch in my head. When did you realize he was Merle Haggard, the star, and not just daddy? I never did. Uh, I know that sounds silly. I, obviously, I knew, you got to understand something. Merle Haggard never has existed to me, okay? Um, it's, all this music is great, but as good as you think it is, you ought to hear it through my ears. Um, he's my dad. Um, Merle Haggard's an outsider's perspective, and that don't, it would be like Jesus and the Father. He don't see God, he sees his Father. And I see my dad, and uh, music is the least important thing he ever brought into this world. You're looking at at least three of them, okay? These, these, this is the best work he's ever done right here. <laughs> <laughs> no strutting back there. <laughs> I'm doing Barney Five. <laughs> what, do you echo what, what Marty says? Oh. Uh, and not being Merle, but oh, just being uh, Yeah, I remember um, I stowed away underneath the bus. I got tired of the uh, looking at the taillights pull out. So I stowed away under the bus, and that's when I remember he was Merle Haggard. <laughs> you got under the bus? Yeah, I got, uh, yeah, I got in, in, in you know, the cargo place. You got tired of watching We got there about 300 miles down the road, and uh, I popped out, and he said, well, give him a job. You know, so I <laughs> put you to work. <laughs> passed out programs, yeah. <laughs> How old were you at that point? Hey, about 11. Wow. Yeah. He's a stowaway. <laughs> yeah. he, ain't, he ain't leaving me no more, brother. I'm, I'm going with you. <laughs> ben, being the youngest, um, you maybe had a, have a different perspective. You, you joined the band and played as a part of the Strangers I for did. how many years now? Uh, it was eight years, I believe. Yeah. Eight years. Started when I was 15. I'm 23, 22. Uh, all that I have heard... <laughs> forever about Ben Haggard is that you are a fantastic guitar player. Did your dad teach you to play guitar? Well, I didn't really let him hear me until I... <laughs> Did <laughs> until, you do it on stage? You know, my mom, she uh, she said, you need to listen to Ben, you know, and I'd be out in the garage playing, and I never thought of anything that I'd be good enough to get out on stage with him, you know, and, uh, and he uh, finally heard me, and he's like, God dang, you know. He and called he was, me one day, Ben, he said, he had like a tear in his voice. I can't say the words. He said, Benny's playing his ass off is what he said. You know? <laughs> <laughs> he said, no, he said, I'm serious. You need to listen to him. So hey. you, you joined the band. At some point in, in all of your lives, you, you, were you part of the strange? I know you were on the road with him and on the stage with him. I, yeah. I was were you ever him. like part of the strangers? I was. I was in, when Leon and him, when Leona left him, um, <laughs> <laughs> The third one to leave him at that time. Um, it was in 1982. It was just before, maybe 83, because that's where love goes. Um, I was doing concessions with Dad. I was his partner in that thing, and Leona had left, and I happened to be walking by the front of the stage, and up, up to that point, I'd always done my own thing, but Dad said, hey, Marty, get up here. Grab your guitar. I just sing harmony and play rhythm for me tonight. He said, he said Leona left me. I said, I said, I don't sing harmony to Dad. He said, just get up here. We get home. We'll, I'll get somebody else. That was two years later. I was still up there. <laughs> <laughs> Not singing harmony. No. <laughs> but it was, it was a great, it was a, Ronnie, you know the band, you know, it was Tiny and Tiny Moore, and it, it was a 13-piece band. It was probably the best band I've ever heard in my life. And I sat on the very Bell end. Shamlin. Yeah. But I sat on the very end with Tiny, and um, musically speaking, that was probably the funnest period of my life. But yeah, Dad, I think that's what Willie said, that Dad, Dad and Willie, um, the one thing they had in common was all their boys had played in his band. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm the only one that got text fired, though. <laughs> that got what? Text, text fired. fired. He got fired by oh. text. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't even get a call. And I said, wait, Merle don't know how to text. <laughs> You mean your father fired you with a text message? His wife, his mom, fired oh. me through a text. <laughs> That's the but well, you were hired two days later, right? He, he told me not to do something. I did it anyway. And he, uh, 
he gave me a little time off and he hired me back. So. <laughs> <laughs> was he a strict, was he a disciplinarian? Did no, he? he just didn't want anybody. You know, he was out there paying you good money to do the right thing, you know, help him and, and, and do the thing. And he, didn't, he didn't want you to do what he did, you know. <laughs> tight shift. Yeah. Yeah, he, say knows he, I he loved yeah. us, and he just didn't want you messing up. He, he was trying to help you, you know. So, yeah. did he bend on the stage? Would he correct you and, and tell you certain things to do or not to do? Oh yeah, you know, right when I uh, started, when I was 15 and about as nervous as I can get, <laughs> he would he would tell me when I did something wrong. He made me made me kick off strangers four different times one night. <laughs> <laughs> Party, I noticed the song that you picked to sing is. Uh, one of your dad's classics called Mama's Hungry Eyes. Merle wrote a lot about his mama. Mama tried, Mama's Hungry Eyes, a lot about family. I've got to believe he and his mom were, were pretty close. Uh, they, they obviously were. Um, I can honestly say that my grandma and I were probably the closest in the family. Um, my grandma raised me when, when my dad was still out raising hell, okay? <laughs> and uh, raised us, us kids. Um, grandma Haggard... I, I've always believed she was the greatest woman I'd ever known in my life. And then I met my wife. And then she's, <laughs> grandma, my grandma would have loved the, the, my wife. But my grandma Haggard and I were very, very close. In our, and the tie that really bound us was Jesus. We both have an undying love for Jesus. And, um, but grandma, she taught me the same thing she taught him. He went to prison, I didn't. So it definitely was his fault. Okay. <laughs> and... Uh, yeah, he loved his mama, and I'm thankful that she lived long enough to see him turn his life around because Grandma never did give up on him, and she kept loving him, kept praying for him, and he finally made it, and she went to her grave so proud of her boy. I only yeah. met her one time, but I came away from that meeting thinking that this is the kindest, most gentle woman. I, you know, you'd expect maybe, hey, I'm Merle Haggard's mom, you know, none of that. Jesus in a skirt, that's what she was. Goodness, what a beautiful description. Yeah. Yeah. She was a great lady. Jesus in a skirt. How about singing the song for I'll try. Us? All right. I've been sick. <laughs> oh, stop it. <laughs> Grandma, oh, take care of you. Hang on, I need a guitar. <laughs> Mari, take your guitar with you. <laughs> <laughs> that one there. <laughs> uh, all right, boys. A canvas covered cabin in a crowded labor camp. Stand out in this memory, I revive. Cause my daddy raised a family there with two hard working hands. And tried to feed my mama's hungry eyes. He dreamed of something better, and my mama's faith was strong. And us kids were just too young to realize that another class of people put us somewhere just below one more reason for my mama's hungry eyes mom never had the luxury she wanted but it wasn't cause my For my mama's hungry eyes I remember daddy praying For a better way of life But I don't recall a change of any size 
It's a little loss of courage as their age began to show. And more sadness in my mama's hungry eyes. For my mama's hungry eyes Hey, I still recall my mama's hungry eyes These clips are great, but to see where Country Legacy lives in full episodes, go to countryroad.tv.